look at them. I think so. Uh, how was your uh, How was your Wednesday night? Anything exciting? Uh, I got the dog back, so that was good. Uh, after her uh, about three day adventure at the spa, so uh, yeah, she was back. What you think of the floors? She was. It was a funny. Funny interaction when we first got uh, got to the house. Go through the, through the garage, the storage room, and then come into the house, and that's where the flooring. Boom! Right away, you see the flooring, and, and she just stopped. I'm like, "Come on, it's okay." Proceed right to the root. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she wasn't having like it. it's just nothing. It's just it's, it's a wood floor. Come on. In so half a mile, the house turn and I was, right like, onto Pleasant Drive. From about ten feet away, and I just forget she'll come in at some point, and then she did, but she was very apprehensive. She's like, "I don't know if I like this," and I don't like that the furniture has been rearranged. And some of it isn't done yet. I, I am not happy right now. I said, relax, just go, go fall asleep or something. And? But she, uh, but she was fine. She got used to it eventually? She got used to it, yeah. Right. Yeah. Although she's still in the feeling out process, kind of. Still getting the sense for Well, because there's like nothing. I mean, I still have everything is crammed into two bedrooms. So I literally At have the next a stop couch, sign. Turn right. a dining room table, a single chair for the dining room table. Mm-hmm. And that's all that's out there. Uh, in in both the, the living room and the family room. There's nothing. I mean, I've got stuff in the family room, but it's all crammed in the corner. It's not set up because that floor isn't completely done because we have to wait for the kitchen to be done for that to get done. So the the, one, the room when you first walk in, there is just a couch, nothing else. Interesting. But it looks good. I like it. Glad to hear it. Yeah. All right, coming up today at 1030, something happened with Detroit sports last night for the first time in my life. My, my adult life. Oh. My adult life, and, and dating back to well into being a kid, and it at the stop battled. sign. I gotta be turn honest. Right onto Pleasant we'll get to that Drive, today at ten thirty. Then turn left onto Sheen Road. In the meantime, Gator, it's early, but eff it. And I know that the morning show did this. And did you hear it? At the stop did, sign, didn't you? turn I didn't left onto Sheen Road. But I, 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 Boy, I've been I've been looking at mock drafts for over a week now, so I I've seen probably four different mock drafts in the last. So you don't know if you've seen this one. I don't know. This is our first one. We held off until October seventh. So we're waiting for the better stuff. We're waiting, but this is look. It's been a while. It's not. Ted at the next stop draft. sign, no, we're, turn it's right. Not Ted. We're, Ted and. Topeka.com, right? right. It's, just, it's, it's a credible source. With the first pick, the Houston Texans select Kayvon Thibodeau, defensive end, Oregon. That's Houston, not Detroit, okay? Yep. With the second pick, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Evan Neal, offensive lineman, Alabama. Totally makes sense for them. That's, that's two picks, no quarterbacks, and still not the Lions. The Detroit Lions are on the clock. <laughs> At the stop sign, turn right the onto yeah. McGregor Road. The quarterbacks, Spencer Rattler, Sam Howell, Malik Willis. The cornerback, Derek Stingley Jr. The safety, Kyle Hamilton from Notre Dame. And the defensive end, Aiden Hutchinson of Michigan. One of those players. In 1.7 is the pick. miles, turn left onto One M36. Of those is the pick. You think you know who the pick is? Yeah. Okay. Then we'll feel free to answer who you would take under this scenario. Mm-hmm. I do want the people to text us right now at 248 539 who would you take? You got the three quarterbacks as mentioned: Rattler, Howell, Willis. The quarterback Stingley from LSU, Hamilton, the safety from Notre Dame, Aiden Hutchinson, defensive end. It's been months since we have done this, and we will only do it 250 more times between now and the draft. Like, what do you do? Track how many times we actually do it. We could. What do you do under this scenario? 248-539-9797. Let me make an audible. We're doing the wide nine Omaha four down around the league blitz thingy at 1030. We're going to oh. something has happened in Detroit sports of forever at 1050. It's Carson Anderson. Get your pick in. Who do you take? 248-539-9797. 97 will take it. Hey, if you're looking to refinance your home, don't miss your second chance to refinance with Hall Financial. You didn't miss out on low interest rates yet, but you got to act fast because it's not certain that they're going to remain this low for long. See if you qualify, in fact, for Hall Financial's no appraisal eight-day close. Not having an appraisal fee, that saves you a bunch of money. Here's how you get to it. You give them a call today at 866-CALL-HALL or go to the webpage at callhallfirst.com. I've refinanced in the past with uh, David Hall and his group. They were fantastic. Everything got done at a very quick pace. I was completely satisfied.
satisfied. In fact, they've got over 4,000 five-star reviews from very, very satisfied customers. I was not alone. In fact, there's a strong chance that your home is worth more than ever. Within the last year, homeowners gained so much value in home equity. See if that works for you. At the next light, turn sense. left. It doesn't make sense, but give them a call today and find out if it does and what that can do. Look, Christopher Riverview River, said, My experience with Home Financial has been amazing. The level of service provided by their team was truly exceptional. Yes! Like I said, they're, they're amazing people over at Hall Financial. Give them a call today, 866-CALL-HALL, or go to call Hall At the light, turn left onto M36. Callhallfirst.com. The powerful new iPhone 13 Pro is here. The most advanced camera in an iPhone. And T-Mobile is the place to get it. This new CineMax mode turn my travel videos into a filmmaking sure. masterpiece. Get the most out of your new iPhone. In half a mile, turn right onto Farley Road. Oh, Whoa, that was bad. And now, you want to get iPhone 13 Pro on us with an eligible trade-in and plan. An upgrade forever. So I can always have a new iPhone? Yep, forever. Lock in the trade-in value of your new iPhone. Starting Route 83 West Allen Road. In half a mile, turn right onto Farley Road. Right
back this year, I'm getting rid of my season tickets. That's from DJ. Remember that name, text. At the next I stop sign, turn right. Looks like an absolute monster, and the Lions need that up front. Give me Aiden Hutchinson. Uh, JD and Ipsy says take the safety. Uh, TT says with a third pick, the Detroit Lions select some random quarterback from the West Coast that may or may not have played against Utah. Malik Willis is definitely way better than Rattler and Howell. Uh, Matt McCarholler, Stoney's going to Vegas. This is not uh, draft related, but Stoney's going to Vegas and come back with a pet tiger and a face tattoo and no memory of what happened. It's entirely possible. Uh, I want Hamilton to safety because I think he's the best, but rushing the quarterback is so valuable. It's got to be Hutchinson. Those quarterbacks don't look good right now. Doug, make sure that you don't go to Vegas with Stoney. Because if that scenario plays itself out, you're going to be on the rooftop. I'm going to be Doug. Or you'll be. You are Doug. Or you'll be kidnapped. <laughs> yes, I'll end up on a rooftop. Uh, Ryan in Arizona, I would take Howell in this scenario. I want nothing to do with Rattler. And if they take a corner or a safety, I quit. Wow. Uh, from Bobby with the third pick of the NFL draft, the Detroit Lions select quarterback Liberty Malik Willis. Uh, named Texter, I know the answer, but I, I know the answer, but I would take Hutchinson from Michigan. The kid's got a motor. Nick and Clint Texter, Spencer Rattler, right, superstar Hunter name, and Rowe. Oklahoma is the opposite of Ohio State. Good quarterback school. So there are some of the, the answers. Gator, who would you take under this scenario? Under that scenario, I mean, obviously you can't. Tr- oh. Everyone's going to say trade back because you're not thrilled with the quarterbacks right now because nobody's separating themselves. I understand you can't do that for this purpose. So, I haven't seen enough of the quarterbacks to blow me away mm-hmm. at this point. And for anyone to come out and say that Malik Willis has been good enough at the top of the list for the quarterbacks at this point, I don't know if that's fair because he's played you know, against Troy and Old Dominion and, and Syracuse is a, is a bad team they lost to Syracuse to be at Alabama Birmingham. Whoever Cam is, to start the season. Um, so it, it's I haven't just said Cam is who they need to start the season. Are you going to evaluate off of that, or you want to wait and see how things play out? So I talk right now. I would go with, with Hamilton the same. Yeah, sorry, the pick is in, and right now if it's me, I don't have that back. What did you mention? I go with Hamilton the same. I like Ian Hutchinson a lot. I really do. What I want to see is Aiden Hutchinson see how he plays against Michigan State, Ohio State, and Penn State. Because I don't know if he's been tested all that much to this point, and I think he's really good. I want to confirm that he's really good um, to, to go there, because I do like what he brings to the table. But Kyle Hamilton, I was impressed with him last year, and he's done nothing to sway me. And the Lions need a playmaker on defense, and I think he fits that bill. I, I always look for linebacker and, and safety so we can make plays back to this is what we're I take Sam Howell and I I think there's been a lot of heavy scrutiny of the quarterbacks and understandably so uh, and Howell looks so bad in week one I, from what I understand his team leads the country in dropped passes and he's been under duress and he's played much much better since that nationally televised Way too early for me to go all in on him or 
or any other quarterbacks, because usually you guys know me, I'm a quarterback guy. Get your quarterback if you can get him. Yeah. If you want, if you see that guy, don't be afraid. And if you miss, you miss, but it's, it's a big position need. With that being said, I'm with you, Gary. I probably either with Hamilton or Hutchinson. Right now. Right now. Right yeah. now. I, I can change that as the season goes on. It, it, of course, we <laughs> like 10 times. But here's what to like with, with Willis, even though it's just numbers because we haven't really seen him play. And, and the competition he's gone against, nothing terribly impressive. Well, we didn't begin his career at all. Uh, last year was his first year really getting starting action. And he completed 64% of his passes, 20 touchdowns, and he had six interceptions. This year, he is off to a great start. He's completed 71% of his passes for 11 touchdowns and zero interceptions. Now, last year, he also ran for 944 yards and 14 touchdowns on 141 carries. This year, he's got 418 yards and six touchdowns on 66 carries. His yards per carry is roughly the same. Last year was 6.7, this year 6.3. He's obviously a dual threat, and that is kind of where the NFL is. you got to have guys that, can't, that are mobile. I don't necessarily want them running all over the place because it exposes them to injury, but you need guys that can have that escapability and extend plays. Do you have Sam Howe stats right there handy by chance? I quarterback from North Carolina? Because I think it's an underrated part of his game, and I'm not... Yeah, no, his, uh, I'm not, yeah, his, his ability? His, yeah, his rushing, his ability to, to make things happen on the ground. I, it's down my list of priorities when it comes to what I want in a quarterback, um, but I think, you know, he's it's part of his game that, that it is something he's bringing to the top. Yeah, Sam Howell uh, this year has rushed for 288 yards and 68 carries. So 4.2 yards per carry is three touchdowns. Last year, 92 attempts. I mean, it's, it's a dramatic it's a difference. Last year, he only had 1.6 per carry had five touchdowns. Uh, but last year, he had, he had receivers to throw to. This year, he's got no one to throw to. His uh, completion percentage is 68% last year, 62% this year. Last year, through 30 touchdowns and seven picks. This year, it's 14-4. Sam Howell, that he's had a lot of guys drop passes. I've watched a couple of North Carolina games, and it's frustrating to watch. But the talent completely left the program. It's just him. Yep. So he's he's trying to make guys better and, and watch as this season progresses and see how the numbers improve or not in the second half. When these guys get more uh, experience, you would expect their numbers get better and his numbers would get better. But Sam, there's a lot to like with Sam Howell. Plus, he's playing in it, even though the ACC would be down. It's still the ACC. It's still the ACC. It's better when Liberty's, Liberty's playing. I do wish there was a vintage Miami, Florida State, and Clemson team on a schedule. None of those things. Well, but the Clemson defense is still it's still good. It's, it's not decent. it's not it's like national championship worthy like it has been, but it's still pretty damn good. I mean, they don't have four, you know, four defensive lines that could be drafted three in the first round. The last not this year, but they may be. Uh, two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. This year is what I'm interested in because well, this is the year Sam Howell played against him. Uh, all right, straight ahead. It's the Rod Nine Omaha four down around the league. Best Starting thing you were talking about. Three West Hill Drive. Is next year on ninety seven one. Sign up today in at three miles. Turn right onto East River Avenue. First bet. The King of Sportsbooks welcomes you to Showtime with the lock of the year. Simply place a ten dollar money line wager in either Los Angeles or Seattle, and if either team scores a touchdown. You're going to win $200 in free bets regardless of your bet's outcome. Just use bonus code GATOR200 when you make your first bet to take advantage of this offer. Enjoy football like never before with Ben MGM's live betting options, boosted odds specials, and daily promotions right at your fingertips all season long. Download the app or go to BetMGM.com and use bonus code GATOR200 to win $200 in free bets if either Los Angeles or Seattle scores a touchdown. Nothing beats a W at BetMGM. New customer offer, paid in free bets. Visit BetMGM.com for terms and conditions. Must be 21 or older, Michigan only. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-270-7117 for confidential help. This excludes Michigan disassociated persons.
otherwise this bus is delicious. Mr. Clean, Mr. Clean. So a friend told me about Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and his exact words were, it changed my life. I used to spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to remove tomato sauce from inside our microwave and soap scum off the bathtub. It's like seriously Stay magic. Left and my secret weapon for cleaning the kitchen, the bathroom, doors and walls, and even keeping the sneakers clean. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, greatest invention ever. Mr. Clean Magic Eraser, the unicorn of cleaning. Did you know that United Healthcare helps connect you to doctors and therapists with 24-7 access to virtual care? So I could have therapy from my couch? Yep. Or a doctor appointment from my car? If you wanted to. Wait, you're right. I don't even like when people see me sing in the car. Couch appointment it is. Virtual visits are just one of the ways United Healthcare helps connect you to better health. Learn more at UHC.com. Plan benefits may vary. Thinking about selling your home? Have you outgrown your current home? Get the Z Guarantee and call me, Mark Z. Z So I went through it pretty quick, and hopefully you guys like them. We'll see. All right. All right, guys, this past Sunday, the Ravens beat the Broncos 23-7. to You know, whatever, not the most exciting game. Not about upset or anything like that. But the big story, there was a big story that came out of it. Light. And Turn that was the right fact that the Square Ravens River extended Avenue. their streak of 100 or more rushing yards in a, to 43 games. That ties an NFL record. Something set by the Steelers way back in the day. This was only made possible because the miles. Ravens Turn ended up intercepting a ball road. with three seconds left. So what do you normally do? You just kneel down victory formation, right? Uh, 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 not so fast, my friend. John Harbaugh said he knew what was going Stay on. They were three yards lane. short. They had 97 yards rushing. He ran a quarterback sweep. Okay, he didn't even hand it off. He put Lamar Jackson, the franchise quarterback, and told him to run a sweep to get the, get the, uh, the extra yards that they needed. He gained five yards. He kept the streak alive. Monday morning, Broncos head coach Vic Fangio was pissed. Called it bull crap. Says, yeah, we knew it was coming, and we wouldn't expect anything less, basically. Guys, whose back do you got? Harbaugh or Fangio? Peter? I actually have Harbaugh's back on this, and I don't like to, but I do. Um, I, look, people, coaches say all the time when teams at the end of games are running the ball and, and, and they're getting big chunks of yards, this question always comes up, well, shouldn't you just take a knee? And the opposing coach usually says something to the effect of, hey, it's our job to stop them. Guess what? It was Vic Fangio's job to stop him. I get it. There were three seconds left. It would have been easy to take a knee. But there's a record at stake. If there wasn't a record at stake, they would have taken a knee. But there is a record at stake. Is it a meaningless one? Yeah, kind of. But you know what? If it makes that team feel good and they need to feel good about themselves, go ahead and do it. It's not a big deal. Fangio's making a big deal out of nothing. Line, and I think he looks like a, like a toolbox for doing so. Gator, years ago, I was on the field at a football game. And a coach turned to me and said... How many yards rushing does my guy have? Because he knew he was close to 100 yards. Mm -hmm. And he wasn't paying attention during the game. It was late in the game. And he wanted him to achieve, get him 100 yards. These are things that get talked about on sideline, like records and, yep. and achievements like that. It's not that unusual. At the light, turn I left onto Golf Club Road. right to do it. But I think it's ridiculous because if you've been watching, 
watching Baltimore's injury report. Lamar Jackson's been on it the last two weeks. Oh, and that, do they have any running backs? Half a mile. Right. Turn right on to Lake Road. Taking the chance. I would not take the chance, even though it's one play. He's got, what, two that tore their ACL. You've got the quarterback that's on the injury report every week. I wouldn't have done it. He has every right to do it, but I wouldn't have done it. I've got his back, though. That's your question. Uh -huh. But I would, I, if I were a Baltimore fan, I'd be like, what are you doing? Yeah, it gets a little uh, different when you're a fan of the Ravens or a fan of the Broncos. When you're a fan of the Broncos, right it's easy to get Road. this. If you're a fan of the Ravens, right it's West kind of both like you said. Doug, you want the record, but, dude, we are banged up right now. You're putting Lamar Jackson out there on a sweep? It's one play, but one play. Yeah, I don't think it's one play. But you know the other team's not going to play defense because they're expecting the nail down and then you go run the play. It's the same well, as me. Turn yeah, left onto Lake Shore Point Drive. Right then turn right set. onto Shore Lane. I think it's going to sound like a whiny. Right. You know what? <laughs> just, just, just file it away. Absolutely. What's the address? 83 Westdale. Westdale. Because March typed it wrong. Turn right onto Shoreward Lane. She said it was West Valen, but it's Westdale. Where are you at? Oh, I missed it. Okay, I missed it. Yes, she must have screwed up. At the stop sign, turn right onto Golf Club Road, then turn left onto Earl Lake Road. to Westdale Drive. Then the destination is on your left. Destination is on your left. 83 Westdale Drive. Arrived. <laughs> 